You're welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I miss you, mommy. I miss you too. Oh, oh thank God. I miss you too. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. Yes, oh. Yes, oh. <laughs> mommy, oh. So good to see you. Oh, oh no, no, no. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Mama, I'm not sure. Yes, oh. Yes, oh. Yes, oh. <laughs> see, see my baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. ah, come on, let's go in. Let's go in. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. Let me carry it. <laughs> Let me carry it. <laughs> I've prepared your favorite meal. Ah, I trust you. So the table is set. <laughs> I trust you, mommy. mommy <laughs> wait. I missed your food, but wait. Sit first. Mommy, sit. Okay. Oh. Mom. I got them for you, mom. Wow. Yes, everything. All this? Yes, mom. Mm -hmm. Everything. All of them for you, mom. Wow. Yes, mommy. Hmm? Ah, okay. Hey, please. <laughs> All this? Yes, mom. All this? Yes, mom. Ah. Wow. <laughs> yes, mom. You got all this for me? Stop it. Just wait till I'm able to find a good job. I owe it to you to take good care of you. Because you're a mother like no other. You paid your dues to raise me despite all difficulties. Mm -hmm. I'm aware of everything. You went out of your ways to make me who I am today. Mom, you gave me your best. So I owe you my best, Mom. Thank you so much. God bless you. I love you. I love you too, Mommy. Brother Craig. Yes, sir. You see, today I can confidently tell you that your situation is not as hopeless as ours when we had our challenges. You see, during the time of uh, going through, we waited for six years. All our test results came back terribly bad. None came out good. Our situation was so hopeless. It was confirmed by several doctors. But when Jesus stepped in, our story changed. And here we are today with blessed children. Let me not tell and bother you with stories. Uh, my admonition to you today is that if Jesus can answer us the way he did, he will show up for anyone who truly believes that with him nothing shall be impossible. Mm. Brace up, bro. Brace up. The miracle is on the way. Amen. Clear in the mighty name of Jesus, go and take delivery of your miracle babies. Amen. You will have to get to the point that you will pray that you don't want anymore. Amen.
does he live in this town? Who? Mom! You mean you've been eavesdropping on my conversation in this house? Hmm. What other name does he be apart from Bob Priest? Ah! Where does he live? Who is he? Mom, which of the questions do you want me to answer? Oh, did I tell you I was done asking? Ah, okay. His name is Kolade Ayodeji Prince. He lives at number 18, Odeoba Street. And he's a child of God. Does he live with his parents or he lives alone? Alone, ma. He lives alone. He has a thriving business. We returned together from Abeokuta yesterday. He served there too. And he has an apartment of his own in this city. Don't you think he should come visit him instead of you going there? Of course, mom. He will come visit him. Actually, we have a date this evening. Mm. He said he's a child of God. Of course, mom. He's a child of God. We met when we were at the fellowship at the camp. And he was our prayer coordinator. In fact, he's a sweet Christian. Hmm. Hmm. Brother Priest, the sweet Christian. That sounds so sweet. You can say that again, mom. <sighs> can I go now, mom? Yes. God will go with you. Amen. Thank you, Mom. Regards to Bro Praise the Sweet Christian. <laughs> yes, Mom. Bye. Please, darling. Yes, Mom. Always be on your guard whenever you are with a man. No matter the profession of faith. Don't be loose. Don't be careless. Don't allow any man to take advantage of you. Never. I trust my dear sister, Louise. Yes, mom. All right, dear. Yes, ma. Bye. What's going on? Why are you so cold? What happened? Uh, Louise. There is a... Uh, I... I... I need... Need what? <sighs> there is... Something crucial. Something... Important. Very important. That... I need to discuss with you. There's something very important you want to discuss. Is that the reason for this intimidating coldness? <sighs> uh, what exactly is going on here? I'm not comfortable with all this old drama, Joe. Can you please tell me what the matter is? Um, yes. I'm very sorry for what I'm about to tell you. I am supposed to have told you earlier, but I did not know how. Say it. You don't have to be sorry. Say anything. In fact, say anything anyhow. It is me, your wife to be, you are talking to here. <sighs> Honestly, I don't like what you are doing right now. I don't like it. Please. <sighs> My wedding is in eight weeks. Eight weeks? Why in eight weeks? I know you have a thriving business, but you have not even met my mother yet. We have no such plans. Why in eight weeks? 
Luz, I am not getting married to you. I don't get it. Luz, what happened between the two of us in the last few months was just a fling. It was not intended to end the marriage. I don't get it. Praise. If this is a joke, please stop it. of September last year you came to me you told me that God told you that I am your wife you shared with me several revelations of a great future together as the prayer coordinator of the fellowship I believed you I gave you a yes. We prayed and fasted together. Thanking God for the promise of a great future. Few months into the relationship, I yielded to the persistent pressure from you to allow you to have sex with me. And in the last four months, I've aborted twice for you. <laughs> Praise. What happens to all the lofty revelations? <laughs> oh God. I'm so weak right now. Luz, <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> hmm. She came home weeping. In fact, I've never seen her in such a sorrowful mood. She wept so bitterly. As I was trying to console her, she passed out. Mm. All right, no problem. Uh, By the time uh, we are sure now, she's okay. Thank God. Thank you, doctor. And, uh, you lied to me. You deceived me. You trashed my emotions. <laughs> you not only disveged me, I aborted pregnancies for you. <laughs> Promised me marriage. What now? You are getting married to another woman in eight weeks. 
take advantage of me. <laughs> I heard your words <laughs> and decided to follow your teachings to the letter. <laughs> For here I am. <laughs> I made the exact mistakes you made. <laughs> I am the most foolish person on earth <laughs> please forgive me please. come on me married, sir. He told me that God told him that I'm his wife. Oh, he told you that God told him that you are his wife? Yes, sir. Wow. Did you ask God? I love him, sir. Oh. You love him. I love him so much that I didn't question him when he told me. I believed him. <laughs> Few months into the relationship, I yielded to the persistent pressure from him to allow him to have sex with me. Ah! Wow. And in the last four months, I've aborted twice for him. Come, 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 come on, keep shot. I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> Why are you so full of lies? Why? Must you go to this extent because of your lust for me? You, you even went as far as saying that I had a carnal knowledge of you. Where? When? How? Sir, I swear by the only word of God, I don't know what this agent of darkness is He's talking about. I don't. It's okay. It's okay. Brother Prince. You, you actually don't need to. You don't need to swear. You don't need to swear. Sister Louise. Sister Louise. <laughs> As much as I try to believe this incredible story, I, I simply find it difficult to do so. You know, from the place that we know, he is not capable of doing such things. He is a child of God. And apart from being a child of God, he is an end time general in God's army. I understand the fact that um, you love him and you would want to have him to yourself. <laughs> but of praise that you see, he's taking, he's getting married to the love of his life in the next few weeks. <laughs> As a child of God, I expect you to go to your father, which is God, 
and ask him for his will for you in marriage. Instead of manipulating people all around. It is devilish. It's very wrong. Oh, God. Please kill me. No, God will not kill you. He would rather kill the seed of sin inside you. You don't have to whip my sister. This your story looks like a cock and bull story. Even if he asked you her, which I'm not saying he did, the first thing you should do as a child of God is to come and see me as pastor. This is my first time of seeing. Do I know you before? Have I ever seen you before? This is my first time of seeing you. Sister Bukumi, the glorious sister that Brother Prince is getting married to, before, the same day Brother Prince proposed to her, she came to see me. Ah, thank you, son. Okay, who has knows about this or so called relationship? <laughs> Do your parents know that he hacked you out? Sir, I have never set my eyes on any of our family members. Neither have I spoken with any of them. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you just imagine? Why, sister, why? <laughs> you see a vibrant man of God doing so well for the Lord and you want to destroy his ministry. Is that you now let me pray for you. with giant candles light them then dot the candles Run with Pepe. After that, enter into the circle wearing a black cloth. As soon as you enter the circle, your mother must turn her back at you. Then, hold the picture of the bastard upside down and say, The light of your life go off. May the light of your life go off. May your ways be dark. May your ways be dark. Worthless. Worthless. And slippery. And slippery. May your life be turned upside down all the way. May your life be turned upside down all the way. Because you have caused me so much pain, despite my pure love for you. May you never know joy all your life. I invoke the wicked spirits from the four corners of the world to afflict you to destruction. So be it. Shadow. 
Sister Bukumi, my God. You're looking so beautiful and radiant. And I'm so, so happy that finally, bro, Bruce is getting married to, to a genuine child of God like you. A lot of um, strange women have tried their best to get him. But I'm so happy that finally, he's yours. So it's so beautiful. Positive plus positive. It, it's so good to see. So good to see. Uh, let's not forget, um, I spoke with your pastor yesterday and he has so many beautiful things to say about you, you know. And uh, without any attempt at exaggeration, I must say that uh, Bob Priest himself, ha, ah, is a vibrant, powerful man of God. You know, I call him general all the time. It, it, it's, it's, he's an hand time general. And, and I do not um, joke about that. Thank you, sir. He has this uncommon grace. Thank you, sir. His grace, yeah. sir. Amen. Sister Bukumi, please, I want you to take care of Bob Priest. Take care of him very well. His fire must not die in your hands. You must ensure that the fire keeps burning. And Bob, please, please, I want to take your back to ensure that the fire keeps burning. Hmm? And the Lord will help you. Your marriage is blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Because your wedding day is glorious already. Amen. No problem. No problem. Keep avoiding me. Run as fast as you can. But let me remind you that I am your shadow. You go nowhere. Not when we have come this far. No. Tell me that you're missing me already. What? I'm missing you badly. But I'm on assignment here and I just started. <laughs> I can't wait to have you back.
Am I going crazy? Yeah. What you described is not possible. Except if a man is losing his mind. Uh, I guess your sleep pattern is not good enough. And I hope you don't have a persistently depressing life event. Not at all. <sighs> Then you may need to cut down on alcohol or any stimulants. Ah, I don't do alcohol. Ah, and I do no drugs. I mean, I'm a child of God. <laughs> Engineer Priest, you know, when a man begins to see or hear things that people around cannot see or hear, then he may need to see a mental health physician. Does that mean that I am running mad? Um, not exactly. Ah. Ah. No, 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 no. That cannot be the case here. Your wife is a child of God. So you cannot sit here and be suspecting that your wife has familiar spirit. Mm. You and I know that your wife is a genuine child of God. So I don't understand what you are saying. Ha! Mm -hmm. I don't understand either. Bukumi has changed. I doubt if it is the same Bukumi that you and I used to know that is living with me in the house. So many strange things are happening in the house. Then, why don't you confront her? I don't think you should hide this from her. This could be a manipulation from the pit of hell. See, my friend, go home and agree with your wife in prayer. That is the way to go. That is the problem. Nobody seems to understand. Ha! <sighs> no, 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 no. Make sure that you don't go below 1.2 million dollars. Anything outside that, it's a no from me. Hello, let me get back to you. Let me get back to you. Who? Lady, you did not tell me that you are coming. Happy married life. Thank you. Have you told her? Who? Your wife. That? That you are a bunch of deceits. Oh. And that you are not real. Lady, Lady, I thought that we have resolved this. Of course. I'm just asking you. Have you told her that you are a wolf in a sheep's clothing? <laughs> Lady, please. But that's who you are. Lighty, I beg you in the name of the Most High God. Let this be gone. I promise you in the name of the Lord God Almighty that as soon as I leave here, I head for your home to tell her everything that has happened between us. Like the, I told you, I am your shadow. You cannot run away from me. My shadow, shadow, save me from my 
Wow, see who we've got here. Ah, ah, good day, ma. Good afternoon. What a surprise visit. Please come right in, my dear pastor's wife. Thank you. It is my great pleasure to have you around. How are you doing, ma? Very fine. Thank you. So what do I offer you? Never mind. I'm good. No, not here. This is your first time of coming here after our wedding, ma. I'm okay. I have come to pray with you for a most blissful way that's to travel this journey of marriage. <laughs> you are here to pray with me? Yes, ma. I thought you were here to tell me everything. Yes. Everything about a secret relationship you've been having with my husband. Are you not here to tell me how you both have been sleeping together? How you lied that Favor and Samuel were fathered by your husband, not knowing that they are indeed for my dear husband, Brother Prince. <laughs> oh, are you surprised? <laughs> oh, you are surprised? I know about everything. You are annoyed he's no longer as caring and loving as he used to be. And he's been ignoring you while you're missing him badly. Madam, you are the wolf in sheep's clothing. Be this daft. How can he tell his wife this much? <gasps> oh my God. Welcome. I'm so sorry. I didn't know he came in. I was engrossed with the meal I was preparing in the kitchen. Guess what? I prepared your best meal. Dear, what is it? You look so stressed. Please come right to the shower to freshen. While I quickly set the dining table. Dear, what is it? Why are you not eating? Huh? 
Permit me. No, you are not. Mm -hmm. I just lost appetite for food completely. What? Unbelievable. You lost appetite for your best meal? You're even sweating. Really? I didn't notice that. I, I think it's odd. Yes. <laughs> Pastor's wife was in. Yes, I, I I know. Why are you sweating like this now? You just showered and the weather is cold. I'm not sweating. Yeah. Am I? You are. I have forgiven you. Yes, you are forgiven. Just that you will have to confess to her husband, who is our pastor. No. Ah. No. Uh, we won't do that. Ah. That will be counterproductive. It won't speak well of me. It won't speak well of the pastor's wife. It, it, it will dent our images. Uh, dear, please. Please. Let, let's keep it as our secret. That would be a dangerous secret for us to keep. We must confess. That is what the Bible says. You cannot hide it from God. You cannot hide it from God. You cannot hide it from God. You may cover your sin. No one can know you cannot hide it from God. You may go away. I am of the opinion that you are making a mistake. I don't make mistakes. I know. But encouraging him to go and confess his sin may be a mistake on your part and a very big one. That shows that you're not getting the game plan. You think so? It appears so. The holy book says, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. And whosoever confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy. Proverbs 28 13. Hmm. You and I know that this is scripture and it cannot be broken. The confession that breeds mercy is one birthed by godly sorrow. His own confession is birthed by coercion. And it is to make a mess of him. It is to destroy and make him a shadow of himself. Just watch me do my thing. You cannot hide it from God. You may cover your sin. I think no one can know. You cannot hide it from God. You may... What a wonderful divine coincidence. Wow. Uh, yeah. This is a bro praise. And a beautiful wife. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've been waiting for you. So this is um, Pastor Kingsley and Brother Jerry from Ghana. Pastor Kingsley? Yes, sir. From Apostle Lakati Lakati Ministry? Yes, sir. Ha! You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes. We've been waiting for you. In fact, we were almost to taking off to come to your house. We've been trying to reach you, but it seems the network is not operating. I've been trying to reach you too. How was your flight? It was fine. <sighs> wait, wait, please, um, let's go to sit down over there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Hi.
Thank you so much, sir. We are here on the instruction of the apostle to finalize with you the arrangement of you coming to Ghana uh, for the special service where the apostle himself will be placing on you the symbolic shield of faith as an end time general of Christ. This is the recognition of your service and exploits that the Lord has been using you to do at this end time. Wow. The old Ghana is waiting earnestly and eagerly for you, for that special service. Wow, wow, wow. How we not hesitate to return all the glory to God. I also want to appreciate the apostle greatly for this great honor. I pray that the Lord will continue to strengthen him. Amen. Amen. I'll be at the program by the special grace of God. Hallelujah. Honestly, sir, as you were speaking, I felt the anointing. I felt the anointing of God. You are indeed a blessing to this generation. You can say that again. You can Hallelujah. Say that again. Uh, glory to Jesus. Um, sir, the details of your flight schedule and uh, other things will be sent to you shortly. And uh, please, if you wouldn't mind, we should be on our way now because uh, we don't fly to win an hour's time. Oh, oh, I want to commit you into the hands of the fallen. Amen. 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 Uh, lest I forget, this is the beautiful woman behind the scene. She, she, she's the powerhouse. You know, wow. lifting the hand of our brother in ministry. Hallelujah. Yeah. No, 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 mama. No, no, no. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Wow. She, she, she has been a very strong pillar of support. God bless you. Blessed are thou among women. Blessed are thou among women, man. Yes. <sighs> wow. Hallelujah. So it, it, it's so great to have you. I, I commend you to the hands of God. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. So, yeah, so thank you. Let's, uh, thank you. All right. Thank you. 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 So um, I wish you a safe trip back to Ghana. Yeah. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. The Lord is with you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, my, my regards to the Lord Bishop. God bless you. Save me from my shadow. We have come to discuss some important issues with you. Okay. But before we do, I think it would be expedient for mommy and the church executive council members to be here. Ah. Executive council? Ah. Why? Uh, what happened? For priests. Sir, please trust me. This meeting is very important, but we may not be able to see anything until mommy and the executive committee members are here. Is it that serious? More like it, sir. Ah. Oh, please. Ah. Jesus. So I'd like to welcome us all to this emergency meeting, you know, 
I welcome my senior pastor, Michael, and um, Pastor Makima. Um, I'm so sorry for calling us at um, such a short notice. The meeting is at the instance of um, God Praise and Sister Abukumi. Okay. I feel they have um, a very sensitive and important matter to discuss with us. But before we go on, I would like to say that we should allow Christ to take control of mm -hmm. everything you will say or do in this meeting today. That's true. And that you should never allow the devil you know, to have his way. Mm -hmm. No matter what. Hey, well said, son. Yes, thank you. Um, well, um, since pastor's wife seems to have been held up in the traffic, so can we just start the meeting pending our arrival? Exactly. I, I quite agree with that. Mommy's presence in this meeting is a must. She has to be here. Uh -oh. huh? oh. Is it that serious? Oh. Hmm. Oh. Okay, let me let me try again then. Hello, dear. How close are you? We've been waiting for you here. I can't come. I am stolen. Stolen? When did that one start? I thought you said you were held up in traffic. I turned back. I am stolen. I'm sorry. <laughs> so she won't be able to join us, but I'll be honest. I think it was nice. Sir, I, I have come to make a confession. <sighs> I have come with a heavy heart of soul and regret. I have come to confess that once upon a time I was born again. I had an encounter with Jesus. But at a point in the journey, I got distracted and entrapped in a life of gross spiritual recklessness. Pretense and hypocrisy. I left the path of the cross. And I became so possessed with the spirit of immorality. I have had unholy affairs, severally with many sisters. Yes. In fact, many of them have had several abortions. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. Huh? Ah, yes. Please. Mm. Uh -uh. Please. Yes. Yes. Don't tell me that what that lady said the other day was the truth. <sighs> Sir, I beg you in the name of the Most High God, please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I don't understand. <laughs> Mommy. Ah. Go on, what happened to mommy? Come on, talk! Uh, mommy is one of such people that I've had unholy affairs with. Holy Spirit! Uh, eh? Mommy? Which mommy? No, 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 no! Talk, bro, please! Which mommy? Which one? Uh -huh. Why? Ah. Uh, uh, 
the pastor's wife. Oh. Ah. Which pastor? <laughs> you, sir. Me? Uh -uh. You. Ah. Ah. Otto. Eh? Ah. Me? Mm. Pastor, pastor. Are they, are they joking or something? Just calm down. Me? No, no. Please? You? No, you, you, you were having an affair with my wife? Please? Please? No, it can't be. No, Pastor. Can, 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 are, are you joking or something? Sit down. No, it's, it's, it's a sick joke. Pastor, take it easy. Eh? Let God take control. Praise! Pastor! Praise! Pastor, let God you, take you, control. You were having an affair with my wife? Pastor, sit down. Pastor. No, no, no. Pastor. No, you are here now. Pastor, Let's get to the bottom of this. You know, what's the bottom? This is not the bottom. It is... Praise! Pastor. I, 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 I'm sitting down. Praise! Pastor, let's sit down. Let's sit down. I am a cruel. No, no. It's bold. You, you have the God? You have the God to be... To be stupid with my life? Praise? Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, oh, God. Oh. Praise. Praise. You, you, are, you are having an affair with my wife? Praise. You don't understand, sir. You don't understand. Sir. You don't understand. You don't understand. Ah! Praise! Praise! He is not done yet, sir. Eh? Shadow, 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 my shadow. 